about Bloom model. So the, there is a lot of buzz about this language model called Bloom. So let's see what this Bloom is all about. So I'm going to share my screen. So I hope all of you are able to see my screen. So what this Bloom is, so Bloom is big science language, open science, open access, multi language model. So multilingual model. So what this model is, so you must have heard of or you must have tried a lot of uh, machine learning projects in your day to day life, like while writing a Gmail, you will be able to see that when you write an email, the Google or Gmail is prompting you the text that is basically a text generation. Or while you are chatting, you, you must have seen that it is generating a text, it is prompting you. So all those things are able, are possible because of those learning, uh, those language model, or we call it large language model, LLMs. So let's see what this bloom is. As of now, if you see that it is one of the largest multi open access multi language language model ever. Why I'm saying so because it it supports multi languages like in in our general in our real world we use we used to combine two languages and say something like I can say salut how are you so that means I'm using salut that is a French word to say hello and how are you is an English sentence so I'm using French as well as English so that I usually call it as multilingual language so these this bloom can support this multilingual uh, sentences as well and it is a large language model why it is called as a, as a large language model because large language models are those models that work on a big data that work on a large sentences or you can say large phrases so as i already told you they they, they recognize they predict and generate human languages on the basis of large text so you if you have a big document so this bloom is one such model that is being trained on a big data on a big data set that contains a large model so why 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 there is a need of these uh, this bloom so you can see already we have a lot of good language models like open ai gpt3 so gpt3 is one of the large language model designed by open ai similarly we have a lambda by google this this lambda is a large language model designed by google and similarly, NVIDIA has given us Megatron natural language generator. And one more that is Palm pathway language model by Google. So we already have a lot of language models that and that are already in production and we are using services of these language models. So what is the need of this Bloom and why there is so buzz about this Bloom model? So let's see. Existing models are designed by big firms. So you can see in my previous slide, the, the GPT-3 is designed by OpenAI or Lambda is designed by Google. They are big firms. They have a monopoly over these, uh, these projects, these models. Why? Because they in, these developing these models require a large number of resources, resources in terms of manpower, resources in terms of hardware, the GPUs, the storage, the RAM. So it required a lot a lot of investment so you can imagine those those big firms they only invest because of their interests like you can see that open ai gpt3 it is not open source second issue with the existing models is that most of these models are trained on over the large english data set so they do not cover the diversification of languages so like we have a french that is also used by many people we have chinese we have in Hindi. So a lot of languages are there, but they are not covered by these existing models. They are mostly trained on the text that is available in English. And the, the one of the most important drawback that they are trained on less number of parameters. So because of that, and the biggest reason is that monopoly of big firm. So a lot of people, a lot of researchers were not 
ready with the, with this monopoly they want to they want language models in such a way that everyone can use it it should not be a part of only few big powers so for that the, you can see in the existing models like if we talk about gpt3 or if we talk about google palm you can see gpt3 uses 93% english language and google palm uses 74% english language though it covers 122 languages but their percentage is very less and similarly in gpt3 also the other languages are not given that importance or the data is not uh, this this gpt3 or google palm is not trained with the other languages like more data from other languages so that is why this bloom come came into picture so you see it is open source it is designed by a big science workshop i'll tell you what this big science is so it is designed it is open source uh, model and it is being trained over 46 languages the english french chinese so a lot of languages are covered in this bloom uh, llm so we have 46 languages in this bloom model and the most important thing is it has not given that importance to english it has only used 30 percent and it is it is also trained on programming languages so it can generate code also so if i if i ask this this blue model what is the the python code to write a for loop so it can automatically generate all the code it supports multiple languages like i mentioned in my sentence sell you how are you so it has multiple languages in just one sentence so blue model is able to recognize that now the important thing is the diff big difference of between this bloom and the other la large language model is that this bloom is being trained on 176 billion parameters which is huge so you can imagine that how uh, strong this bloom model is because it is being trained on a large data and this bloom also support or also trained on 13 programming languages including java python ruby and other programming languages what you can do with this bloom you can generate a language you can generate a whole language you can generate a text that is a text generation what is this text generation text generation is uh, basically you can say it has like if i say a half sentence this blue model is able to complete it like if i say the surrounding countries of india are space so now my blue model is able to complete it it is going to add the countries that are that is that surrounds india you can do question answer model you ask something to the bloom it will give you the answer summarization of the text you can do you can create a story you can do the summarization in bloom you can do information extraction you can extract information from the large data set and anyone can do public research so this bloom supports a lot of it it has a, gives you a lot of power when you talk about natural language processing who developed bloom big science workshop so it is not just one person or one company it is a group of people it is a group of companies who who invested into this big science workshop so it has um, more than a thousand researchers who, who work part-time full-time to develop this model and it is supported by big science french government it is supported by microsoft or canal university or national university of singapore and so many other uh, stakeholders are there and they develop this consortium which is big science if we talk about more detail or technical specification of the bloom you can see that it is it is trained on a lot of languages like english french they have given 12 percent 12.9 percent to french six almost 16 percent to chinese and english and similarly other languages along with this they have also trained you can see here they have they have trained this blue model with the java language also 
and with the the data that they have provided you can see these many files they have uh, used to train this bloom model so similarly java python php they have trained all, all, a lot of programming languages it is also transformer based language model like a lot of natural language processing models are transformer based language model so this is also using transformer based language model current version that is released is 1.0.0 we can see that it has a large language percentage. You can see that it is it is issued or it is released in the real license v.1.0. So far, you must have heard of GPL and other licenses, but this is the basically responsible AI license. So it, it basically says that you whosoever is using, he should be responsible because it's a natural language processing model. It can be misused. People can generate a wrong text they can create a hate text uh, hate speech texts so there is a misuse component in this model so one should be responsible while using this model let's talk about the architecture the of this model this model is nothing but it uses the megatron nvidia's megatron lm gpt2 model and it has been modified uh, it has 176 billion parameters so this model is trained on 176 billion parameters so you can imagine how big uh, training is required in this model this model has 70 layers one with 112 attention heads hidden layers 14336 dimensions so it is a huge model it is a very complex model and that uses 2048 um, sequence length of tokens so it, it's a big project and that involved a lot of time while training this model so so when we talk about a model there is a hot there is always a constraint associated with any uh model while while training so here also this model is being trained on a zinze public supercomputer which is provided by the french government and this supercomputer is located in paris in france so uh, you can imagine how large the supercomputer will be so you can see that the hardware configuration of this supercomputer or the hardware that is being used by this bloom model is 384 it took 384 gpus 48 nodes and you you, you can see that the large number of gpus that is being used to train this model and it has cpu 512 gb per node and gpu memory 640 gb per node so you can imagine the amount of resources that it required. It's a large infrastructure. One can easily go and search for Zinze public supercomputer. And there you will find out that it's a big facility provided by French government to train this Bloom model. It, it is this, this whole infrastructure setup, this whole hard, hardware setup uses nuclear energy. So this is also one very good advantage or one innovation we can say where this supercomputer is being powered by nuclear energy and whatever the heat that is generated in um, while training is being reused and is provided to to ho campus housing for heating purpose let's talk about the training so i already told you that it, this bloom model is trained on 46 natural languages and 13 programming languages and one uh, 1.6 TB of pre-processed text. So the documents, the text, whatever it has. So it is 1.6 TB of pre-processed text that is being converted into 350 billion unique tokens. So I'm sure you know the tokens in natural language processing. So it has used 350 billion unique tokens. And it took 118 days to complete the training. Now, you can imagine like while training, so let's say if if i am training my model and i have trained for 100 days and some error comes in so i will lose a lot of my hard work so for that they are using checkpoints so there is a checkpoint against uh, each training so anyone can use that model that 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 checkpoint so it is available on a hugging face website let's talk about so this is all about the theory there is a bloom model that is good in natural language processing that is trained on a big hardware that uses a lot of uh, text while training but how to use as a normal programmer as a normal machine learning uh, enthusiast or a data scientist how to use it so let's dive into some coding so for coding part what you can do let let me share 
So for coding part, what you can do, you can use the Google Collab Notebook. Let me share. So I'm sharing my whole screen and here I'm going to open my Google Collab. I will create one notebook. And I'm going to hit this notebook as demo bloom. And for display purpose, I'm going to share only this. Okay. So We will right, start writing code in this. So to utilize any model, this model is available uh, on the Hugging Face website. So to use it, what we can do, we can download or we can install the Transformers library or Transformers package. So for that, what we have to do, we have to write pip install transformers and i'm going to install it so it's installing so it got installed now from this Transformers package, I need to have certain libraries. So let's see what are those libraries. So if we go here in my presentation, you can see that this whole model is available in the Hugging Face website. So let's, let's see how to get that. So what do you need? You need to download that model so how we can download this model using auto model and auto tokenizer from this transformer. So you see what I'm going to write, I'm going to write from transformers import auto model for casual language model, auto tokenizer and the set seed. So what this do basically here, we from this class, we will be able to download our model which is available on Hugging Face website. Our model is basically a Bloom model and auto tokenizer. So this will basically tokenize whatever the text we want to generate. And because this model is, uh, you can say, it takes a lot of time and it requires a lot of compute. So for that purpose, we can utilize our GPU. So I'm going to use CUDA for this. So this torch package has, we can set the tensor to CUDA. Now this is going to utilize the GPU. Now to actually utilize a GPU, what do you have to do? You have to change your runtime to basically GPU. So it now it would be GPU accelerated. So what I did, I installed the transformers library then I'm importing the classes that is required to download and tokenize. And then I'm using the CUDA, torch.cuda.float tensor. This will basically utilize your GPU. And now I need a model. So to download a model, you can use, you can use 
auto model for casual LM and we want it from the pre-trained. I can use simply Bloom also. But if I use this Bloom, what will happen? Because I have a limited storage in my uh, Google Drive, it will not allow me to download or it will in between my disk will get full. So instead of downloading the whole model, I am using one of the checkpoints. Okay, so this is smaller in size, you can say. So I'm using big signs, bloom dash one B3 dash one B3. So this is the model that I want to download. So now it's downloading. You say it, it says auto model for casual LM is not defined. So I have to rerun this because I have changed the runtime. doing the installation it's downloading the package importing it and now it is downloading my model so you can see it is downloading like this in parts it's it's like 3.21 gig So meanwhile, once this model gets downloaded, I want something called prompt. What text you want to generate? So the prompt here is what I'm using surrounding countries of India are. Okay, so it should generate a text ahead of this or the remaining part of the text. It should generate a text. So this is my prompt. Now I have to convert this prompt. I need to get a tokens. For that, I have to write, I have to convert this into token. So I have to use tokenizer, which we are using here, which we have downloaded auto tokenizer. So tokenizer and in this tokenizer, I have to pass prompt, which I want and the return tensors. So here I am going to use the PyTorch tensors. And then once this is converted into tokens, I have to pass this into my model. So I have to basically generate or I have to pass this into my model. So you see, these are my input tokens. I don't know the length of the tokens. It may be. So here I am using this, uh, this sentence it, you, for you. It could be different sentence. So instead of surrounding countries of India, I can write president of India is dash. So th that has different number of words here. We have different number of words. So your number of tokens will be different for each of the prompt so that is why here we are using variable arguments so it's asterisk asterisk input token is used for variable arguments and here we are using temperature so temperature is not the temperature that you might think of it is basically you know the ratio in which you want to uh, generate that data you can also specify the max length now once this is generated you want to see the output so output is basically you have you got the tokenizer now you have to decode those tokenizer we need a decoder so i can decode tokenizer dot decode and here you have to pass the output so now let's see it is downloading 100 percent completed now i'll use the prompt variable now i am going to generate the tokenizer tokens now i'm passing it to my model and these tokens are passed to my model it is generating the text. It may take few time. Now let's see the output. You will see that surrounding countries of India are Bangladesh, Bhutan, China, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. So you can see that it has generated a text. Now you can use any other text. It will again generate it. The idea over here is the, it is very simple. You only need to install this transformers library. After that, you need to download a model. To download a model uh, from the pre-trained, you have to use auto model for casual language model. You have to token, you need an auto tokenizer because you are, um, you have to basically get the tokens from your text. You don't need this set seat. You can just run here. Here you have to set the um, GPU acceleration. If you don't want, that is also fine. It will work. 
Now you need to download a model. You can download any of these models. So right now I'm using the 1B3. And here I'm using the tokenizer. Now I have a prompt. Whatever the text you want to generate, you have to give that prompt to your model. So I am giving a prompt is surrounding countries of India are. And now this prompt is being tokenized. Now these tokens are passed to my model. And that model has generated the text, the remaining text of my prompt. So this is how you can use this Bloom model. So let's see and uh, let's see how, how this hugging face, what are the models available in the hugging face. So I'll stop my sharing. Uh, my, screen and i'll again share one more tab which is related to hugging face let me share again so you can see here this is a hugging face website huggingface.co and here we have models so i can go and see any of the models let's search for bloom now here you can see this is my main big science bloom model you can see and it is released on 6th of july 2022 and it has seen 366 billion tokens and here you can use the inference so here you can directly go and see the text now let's talk about which model you want to use so if i use this model what will happen because of you need a lot of storage i don't have that storage so for that what we can do we can go and check other uh, the checkpoints that it has You can get a lot of information about how the training is performed, what is the time it took, and all, all those things. Now, if I go, here, and I can see here all the people who has contributed here. This is a big science open collaborative workshop around the study and creation of various large language models gathering more than 1000 researchers around the world. So let's see, these are the models available. So you see here, I have used 1B3, which is updated. Here you can see it is downloaded 8073 times. So you can use any of the models depending upon the resources you have. I would recommend to use if you have good resources, you should use the big science slash boom, bloom. So it is it is downloaded more than 17,000 times. You can use that okay this is all about uh, the uh, bloom model and it is a big buzz nowadays you can uh, try that you can use hugging face website to see which model uh, which uh, what or you can do with it you can experiment with that you can pass a lot of text you can generate text and utilize the uh, this model bloom model if you have any queries you can drop the comments in uh, in our channel i would request you all to like subscribe and comment on that channel if you want to learn more about machine learning natural language process or artificial intelligence you can also drop the comments over here thank you thank you everyone that's it from my side